viewers, our Colorados have been sensational performers. You've come along with us as we've taken them right across Australia and certainly enjoyed the ride they've provided. We're here in the Flinders, we've got the Colorados again along, but this time we've got something a little bit more exciting, guys. We have got this beast, an Aveco Daily 4x4 that's been specifically put together by Aveco for us to test on this Flinders Rangers trip. Now guys, this beast comes with the 37 inch tires. It's got three diff locks, a center diff lock and a front and rear diff lock. It is gonna be an awesome vehicle for us to test across the Flinders Ranges. So join us as the Colorado, the Aveco Daily 4x4 and the rest of the sponsors explore the Flinders. Whilst I thoroughly enjoyed the ride and performance of the Aveco Daily 4x4, some of our guests also had the chance to see it in action. Let's hear what they thought. One thing we heard a lot about was Simon arriving in this big Iveco. Well, what a machine it was. Looked like it was something straight out of the jungle, ready to take on the world with its body wrap that's all camo. In fact, I couldn't tell the difference between the Iveco and Simon at times when he had his camo jacket on. So they both looked the team. I think it'd be a great machine to own. Definitely going to be something for the guys that have those big quad bikes and everything to throw on the back. I had a bit of a run in it and yeah, look, you've got air suspension seats. It was a lap of luxury. So um, yeah, maybe one day it might be on the list. We'll see what happens. It's an amazing vehicle, absolutely, it did the job. It got to all those places that Simon put it into. If you're looking for those sort of vehicles to put something like a big camper on the back or something like that, then it would be definitely something you'd want to consider. We had some pretty well set up four wheel drives on this trip and that vehicle went everywhere that you know the rest of the trucks did without any problem at all. You know, really, how do you assess a four-wheel drive? You know, is it ground clearance? Well, it's got more ground clearance than everything. You know, is it the gearing? The excellent gearing system there, very, very low range, and with a very efficient three-litre engine, it can do a lot and achieve a lot of things that many vehicles can't. I think if you've got the need for that style of payload, you know, you've got a motorcycle, you want to carry a bunch of motorcycles or gear or work gear around, you know, you're a tradesman perhaps or a builder, that would be an ideal vehicle. It would certainly go anywhere that any well-set-up four-wheel drive can go and the capacity of it well exceeds that of a standard dual cab ute, that's for sure. There's five nice things about the Aveco. It runs 37 inch wheels. You can't complain about that, that's a really good thing. Right, number two, it looks amazingly cool, which is also a good thing. It's got lots of gears, you can't go short for that, which is also good. Things has got lots of power, which is nice. Otherwise, it's a damn fine vehicle. And I'll tell you what, Simon, it suits him. I hate to say this, but it's a green meanie, and he's like that. It's a perfect car for Simon, but he's got to give it back, so bad luck. So here we are, lucky enough to have one of the new Iveco trucks here on site, which you would have seen Simon driving, and he looks pretty natural, a big boy himself. It is a big rig, but he makes it look at heart. A couple of good points about the Iveco to start with, it comes out with your 37 inches, that you can get a mud tyre and a few different different tyres for it. Factory front and rear diff locks and already ride height suspension. There's not much really we had to do to make that truck ride today. After we let the pressures down and that was all we really had to do. Everything was factory and it just it drove everywhere that all our four-wheel drives did. With the option of the four seats in the back, you can really bring your family and a big tray, swags in, you, could, you name it, you could put it in that Iveco and it would make the Flinders Rangers any time and I'm sure a lot of other tracks. <laughs>